Top Taiwan officials have condemned Beijing for issuing directives to Taiwanese media executives at a closed-door summit last Friday. In a speech that was later leaked, a Chinese political adviser had urged more press coverage on the one country, two systems framework. Today, a Taiwan intelligence official said China was a communist country with no freedom of press and had no right to tell Taiwan's media what to do. Meanwhile, Taiwan's foreign minister said Beijing was trying to destroy Taiwan from within. One day, if we achieve reunification, your persistence will become very valuable. You will go down in history for your hard work for our country. Wang Yang, chairman of the National Committee of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference, spoke about cross-strait unification on Friday in a room full of media executives. Want Want China Times Group's chairman Tsai Yanming and vice chairman Jason Hu had greeted Wang with a handshake and a bow. Today in Taiwan, National Security Bureau Deputy Director General Ke Chen Hun reacted to the summit in a rare public comment. The statements made by Wang Yang, chairman of the Political Consultative Conference National Committee, have very strong united front undertones. In particular, he mentioned one country, two systems, and that Taiwan is Washington's pawn. These remarks are extreme and provocative. I think that Taiwan is a free, democratic and open society. We do not need a communist country, and especially not a country that has no freedom of the press, to come tell our media what to do. Taiwan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs has also commented on the media summit. Foreign Minister Joseph Wu tweeted that he saw the event as a new form of Chinese warfare. Taiwan is the front line of democracy, and Beijing's goal is to destroy Taiwan from within, he said. What Taiwanese media need to understand is that they should not be endorsing authoritarian propaganda of communist countries. That's all wrong. I think that when media outlets have such encounters with communism, what they ought to leave with is a deeper appreciation for Taiwan's democracy. Ruling party lawmakers condemned China for putting pressure on Taiwan's media. They also said that Taiwan would never bow to bullying from across the strait.